Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hey guys, welcome to another one. Um, Roland looks a little frozen right now. Welcome to another Wild at Heart show with uh, Roland Friedel uh, and me, Christian Brosch. Well, um, with another topic today, which seems kind of um, polarizing people as um, all the other panelists are not here right now. So welcome you all guys. I hope you enjoy our show. Ah, I see Roland is back. Um, our topic today is well, Roland. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. Sorry, I had some issues in between with the network here in, in Spain. But anyway, no, I, I'm not escaping. I, there was no lawyer advice. Don't try to show because it's a, an interesting topic. How women start to dominate a man's life. But thanks, Christian, for starting. <laughs> thanks, Christian. For yes, as you said, my dear friend, we are um, the panelists. We, from seven, we went down to two of, the two of us. So... We have more time to talk. We have more space to talk. And yeah, we wish our Arctic panelists all the best at home. Guys, all the best. <laughs> okay. I, I really wonder if, if, if this is a, a topic related issue that it's only the two of us. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, we had some fun, you know, already backstage when they said maybe the guys are worried that their wives are watching or. Maybe the lawyer said, hey, stay away. Anyway, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, welcome again, welcome again, welcome again to the Wild at Heart Show. Real, authentic, uncut. Hey, Christian, did you know that we started about six months ago? So I guess it's already episode 24, 25, something like that. So time is really running. So yeah, time, time is running, really, yeah. And I'm, I'm, well, just like every Wednesday, I'm looking forward for the evening and um, the other guys, like, in fact, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this topic and you. And, um, Absolutely. We'll see how our viewers will react to this one. Yes. So before we start, gentlemen, um, who are watching it or listening on a, on a podcast on a radio station, if you missed one of the shows, uh, one topic that's interesting for you, please go to our website. It's bonfiredogs.com. They are all uh, previous shows recorded once. And secondly, if you want to contact one of the panelists, you will find all the contact de details of Christian, myself, and the other panelists, of course, too. Yeah, that's what I said. And one thing, I mean, to be honest, we, you, Christian, and myself, we're really, really committed to the show. I mean, we have to say, uh, maybe I can tell you, Christian is on vacation. Christian is on vacation. That's, that's why the sound is a little weird, because he is in a, on a beautiful spot somewhere in South Europe. And in Greece, and I am here in also traveling in Spain. So we did it both make happen to get a good Wi Fi and do the show for you. So, Christian, how women start to dominate a man's life? Do you have a, a personal comment on that in the beginning, or you just want to start in more general? What's... Well, I think it's kind of both as. Um... Of course, we are we are given life by a woman. So, well, this is a biological thing. Um, but I think as a, as a very small child, uh, the first person who, who is really influencing us is a female. Like um, I, I, I have one of those, one picture in my mind when, when I was a little boy, like, I don't know, when you start walking, walking, I think about one and a half years or something like that. So there's this kind of thing. My arm is going up. And, and um, if I look up, I saw my mom. And she told me what was right, what was wrong, what to wear, where to go, how fast to go, what to do not, stuff like that. 
So it was like a woman was telling me like everything, what is truth, what is false. So this is a, a, has, a, has a huge impact on a, on a male life. And um, in, in, in uh, our, in, in Germany, it's like most of the time that the, the male, he goes to work. So the, the little children spend a lot of time with their mother, which is absolutely okay. Uh, no, no doubt about that. But um, for a male, um, a, a very strong mother can uh, lead maybe one or two problems later in a male's life. This is my experience. Absolutely, absolutely. I also see this, you know, I mean, uh, as you said, you know, sometimes men are really dominated in a very early stage <laughs> unconsciously. I mean, I, I had the luck, of course, I have a mom, uh, she gave birth to me, she was breastfeeding, she was taking care of myself. But I can say when I look back, she was not dominant, not, she didn't try to dominate me, she didn't try to influence me. Uh, and, you know, my father said something, Roland, when you marry Please make sure that you're very far away from your stepmom too, for both your your parents and your stepparent and your 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 um, let's say, say your your, your mother-in-law and your father-in-law. Uh, create your own life with your own family without any influence from us or from your wife's partner. This was a very good advice. So I very I, I was in a lucky situation. Uh, I had, had not I didn't have a mom that who was pushing myself. Uh, even though I was married two times, my first mother-in-law absolutely not no influence on, on anything and in my second marriage my my second wife she didn't have a mom or we had one but she already passed away before before we, we met but i know that some guys are really had a, a very actually a very good friend of mine um i we had actually we have a a call every every week and we, we're very good friends he's from germany too and he is he uh, yeah, actually, he has a lot of pressure still from his mom. She still tries to influence him. And as she sees it, that it's not working anymore, less and less and less, she tries to have more influence on his on her grandchild, uh, on his son. Yeah. So we see this very often that women try to dominate men, try to influence men. But I guess let's talk a little bit more about relationships. And of course, it starts in the childhood. Yes. And we also see that we have more and more single moms. Uh because of that's how society is at the moment and so uh, there's a lot of male energy missing in education especially for for you for young male of course yeah but it's a different topic uh maybe for another show but let, let's focus on 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 relationship i mean i was i was reading a quote i, I was reading a book it's called man by osho the former bakwan osho i'm reading a book and, and, he, and he's writing about men and one point is the man is a husband and he writes once you met a lady, once you get married, it's done, baby. It's done. You give up everything. <laughs> if you if you're aware of it or not, you're under control. Most of us, we're under control. Some women do it more. Yeah, how do I say? More subcontainers. Some 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 women are more. It's, you can see it what you're doing. You can feel it. Some 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 women are more sensitive on influencing us, but they do. They always try to. Do it. Or what? What is your opinion? With a girlfriend, they say, um, okay, you have to. They they do. Of course they do. Um, because, and I think this is something we can. Um, a lot of men can relate to, because a lot of men they they are um, not that emotionally intelligent as women are so and they are um, not that um, that good in, in communicating especially in communicating emotions and women can do this well this is my experience very good so um, a lot of men are overwhelmed if a woman is getting emotional because they can't handle that so a lot of men tend to step back and in, in order to avoid stress. So if a woman gets emotional and stuff like that, the men tend to be like helpless and stuff like that. And um, if a woman sees, ah, okay, this is working, this is the way I get what I want, they do this. Yeah. And this is, well, so there's, this is no guilt thing. It's just like it is because we men, 
um, a lot of men are not, are not uh, they're growing up in a female surrounding. Like everything has to be calm. You have to be nice. Um, express your feelings in a, in a way which is okay. Don't be loud, stuff like that. Don't be, one thing I heard a lot of is, don't be aggressive. I think aggression is a, is a natural feeling, just like every other feeling. And especially for men, being aggressive in a, in a certain way is good for us to, to want to express our feelings and the other to go our own way. We have a different way of living our lives, which is completely different to a female's way. And um, we are not females. And I see a lot of females um, treating their, their boy kids like, like girls, like, oh, be nice, stuff like that. So this is not the way we are. This is not our nature. We are different. So we have to like um, be competitive and stuff like that. We, we find our way in life, uh, our, our place in life in, in, in this way. Yeah. I mean, what, what, I, what, what, what I also see, Christian, is that uh, more, a lot of women, when, when I talked to them, they, 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 their mom was a, role, is a, was a role model and her mom was already pushing around her dad. And then she learns this and then she's, she's pushing around her husband. That's, that's just a role model. You know? It's just, just a continuum. And on the other hand, I, I, see, I see men, especially friends of mine too, uh, guys I know a long time, that's why I can say it from my own experience and my normal observation is they had a very strong mom uh, and then they subsidize their mom through a woman, and and the woman is not a mom. You're not taking care, doing this, doing this, telling him what to do, dear. Do, 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 do. And, and uh, yeah, 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 they, they do everything. I say, I say this, this, this both ways. Of, on one hand, that the, the that the, that women had had a very strong mom pushing around her dad for any reason. Maybe they're staying at home. You know, they, they, as you said. The men normally go to work, the wife stays at home in, in, in the generations before us. Yeah, we talk about my parents. So the, most of the women have been frustrated when a man comes home. She doesn't have to do anything than pushing the guy around, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and chasing him there and there. And, and a lot of women took this as a role model and do it with their men. And on the other hand, as I said, we have, I see men that really, I, I know guys who, who in their 40s, they still go every weekend having... Uh, lunch at the mom's house and bringing the laundry there mom is still laundering and ironing there and when they when they have a uh, when they have a girl or a girlfriend or even when they marry then the, the, the wife is the new mom and it's exactly. the more, more nursing nursing them and then when i speak to these women i said oh and they have two boys or two, two children they said to me actually i have three children three kids Two born kids and my husband. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the way it is. They they telling their husbands what to wear, stuff like that. So, yeah, this is like at home, like when when you're when you're a school school boy, your mom comes in the morning in your room, she puts out you are going to wear these socks and these pants and this shirt, stuff like that. And the men they're 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 lacking um, this. Um, I think it's called this initiation. Mm -hmm. where, where a man, uh, where a boy does something or spends some time alone or stuff like that. And he becomes, he goes from a boy to a man and he starts making his own decisions everywhere, um, making his own mistakes and not having a mom telling him, no, this is not good. You shouldn't do that because of this and that. Yeah. So boys have to make their their own experiences to learn to to see where their borders are where their places in society and stuff like that and it's um i think we as men we also have to um to make to make our mistakes and our little um scars somehow to get our scars to be like men yeah yeah actually that's, that's i can absolutely relate to it uh, i was always say since your early beginning um for my for my for my young men, there is no on women too, a girl too. There's no clear role description or job description. What's your role? What's your job? 
Yeah, uh, it's it's not clear because with the feminism coming up, of course, it has some advantages for women, equal rights, yes, but now it's overwhelming. It's too much. Yeah, women go more in men's position. Women became more get more in the masculine energy, and what I see, uh, uh, actually, in my, in my previous, uh, my last relationship, this was this girl was very very much in her male energy because all the trauma that happened before and, and stuff like that, yeah, to defend herself, to protect her. She went in a very male energy. I have a very male energy, I uh, always had, but the only choice I had to go more in a female energy to, so otherwise we wouldn't fight any, every day and I wouldn't kill her. So I, I had no choice to go in a female energy because she didn't get out of the male energy. And then I, I was not un, I was unhappy in my female energy. She was unhappy in her male energy, and she was also unhappy in, about my female energy and both and both ways, you know. But this is very what I see very very often that women are very became very very strong. Actually, not really strong. When you look deeply, to be honest, there's no there's no much self esteem, but they they act re like very strong in a very male, sometimes in a two too male or sometimes a too toxic male energy and for the man there's no, nothing left over so they have to go in a female energy if they want to stay together because otherwise it's working you know because there's too much fight but at the end it's only working as, as i said a short time because the guy is unhappy in the female energy she's unhappy and he's unhappy with her male energy she's unhappy in her male energy and is also unhappy that she has a female guy and that's a struggle. And, and, and domin the dom there is where domination started. And I always say by joking, man, I'm, I'm now uh, 58. And, and as I said before, I was married twice. And I, I always say to always, every girl I met with my new relationship, I said, I take you like you are. I, don't, I will never change you because it's my decision if I want you like you are. As I say, love it or leave it, but don't change it. Nobody will say love it, leave it, or change it, but not in a relationship. Love it or leave it. And I will never change you. But you, ladies, you always try to change me. And I always say just for choke, but it, it really, I learned in my early years from my first girlfriend, when I go to the bathroom, she said, sit down. If you stay, you're clean. This was a learning for me. I sit down, but that's, ladies, is the only thing I changed. Uh, that's the only thing. I, I wear the clothes I, I want to close. I do the job I want to do. I do the stuff I want to do. Uh, but as you said, you know, it's it's not always easy because women always trigger. Yeah, they trigger. And I guess it's it comes from a frustration. It comes from a kind of frustration. I I I, I, I personal experience when I was very successful in business and then the, the women says, yeah, he's very successful and you know, all, he's a shiny star. All the people around him, and then when you come home, she de, 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 bring you home. And I, I even a nice story. I had a very good barber years ago when um, in in Palma de Mallorca, when there was my my home base. I went to the barber shop once a month, and I said to the guy, "Hey, can you look here because I don't see it? Maybe I have less hair here back, because my wife told me uh, there's le less hair here. Yeah, I lose I'm losing hair here in the back." And he looked at me and I said, "Roland." No way, you have a lot of hair. No way, but he said, but he gave me one advice. He said, you know what? You're a good looking guy. When you go out with friends, you go in a bar, everyone looks at you and I said, Yes, it does. And you you go upright, you know, chest up, and you really with your charisma, you go in and you you know who you, who you are. But when your wife tells you every time you leave, you know that your hair is getting a little bit bold, then you go like this, your self-esteem is going down. So there's less danger than if the girl look at you. It's just, he said, this is psychologically a war she's doing with you. Yeah? Bringing your self esteem down. And, and that's what I said, dominating it. Trigger, 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 trigger. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely true. And I can, I can uh, rely on the thing you said that um, women are uh, getting stronger and stronger. But there is something I would um, tune a little bit. I think those women that are that are doing so much like doing hard jobs, stuff like that, they don't get stronger, they get harder. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah that's um, the right term. Yeah, they get harder, absolutely, not stronger. Yeah. yeah. This is a point, like I, I heard a, a, a woman, she said, I'm a I'm a woman, um, I'm a single mom. I don't need a man. And of course, nobody should need another person. But 
you can it's i think it's the best to to raise a kid with with both energies with a male and a female energy and this as i well in my opinion you don't need a partner a really life partner or something if you have a close friend who is a male as a female and you have a kid so bring bring this male in just to be around this this kid or something so that he gets some some energy from the other um sex and Absolutely. Yes, and I think um, one thing going on, um, which is which is really really bad for women these times, is that they don't know how to really be a woman. They have so many different role models how to be and how to do this and how to do this, and they identify with this and they identi identify with. I have to be successful. I have to be a mom. I have to be. I have to be. I have to be. They're putting all these stickers here on, on their cells and trying to fulfill all these roles. But the one thing they forget is to be in themselves, like feeling themselves and being soft. And I think softness, female softness, is one of the strongest things ever. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a very, in my opinion, a very sad point that, that happens right now. But I, I know you know there is some power behind the scenes who is not interesting in in this in this in this family model that we had this tribe this family model and because they're, they're dividing everything they're dividing society and when you want to divide society you want you have to destroy the core of every society is the family and that what is destroyed since actually since the fifties when they brought feminism in and we know wh wh why feminism came on on the broad and we know who 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 triggered it and who, who, who financed everything. It was a family called Rothschild. And they said, okay, we have to, we have to, to teach women be more, be, be more uh, independent, be stronger, be harder, be independent, get your own job. You can do the same, get your own job. What was the reason for that? Hey, double income, double taxes. Yeah, for mm -hmm. the government. That, that's what happened. This was the first thing, double income, double taxes. Uh, more, no, more money to spend. Double income on taxes too, so th that was the way it started in the fifties, and then uh, it came more and more and more that we, as the women go of, to work too, of course, uh, there was less family gatherings. Nobody was cooking at home, so then there was fast food coming in, pre-cooked stuff was coming in. Yeah, this gathering together with healthy meals and a conversation, gone maybe on a weekend maybe on the weekend but not during the week because both are working i saw it from 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 from, from, from when i was a kid uh my mom was working my dad was working nobody was there during the week taking care about us my brother myself on the weekend a little bit but my dad was exhausted on the weekend and stressed my mom was exhausted on the weekend and stressed because they have both working so there was no family life anymore and at the end it broke of course yeah it didn't work. But as I see this, uh, the, the core of our society, the family, is that. It's that. There are uh, uh, some exceptions, but when, when you look around, single moms, divorcement rates uh, up, there is there's no family living again. And this is what's, what's going to happen. Is And, and that's what, what comes around, that uh, there are no role models. There are no role models. There are no role models how to behave in a relationship because kids don't see their parents behaving in a relationship because there's an argue, they're stressed because they're so focused on their career or they're already divorced. So there is no male, mostly no male, sometimes no female uh, energy uh, as a role model for a kid. How should they learn it? How should they learn it? There's nothing. And, yes. and, 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 and like in families, you know, 100 years ago when, when, uh, when I remember with my grandparents when three, four generations living under one roof on, on the farmhouse. There, there is no granddad, there's no there, there's no grandmother available because they we put them away in a residency. So how should kids learn this? And that's what's going on. That's what's going on. That's a good question, yeah. Well, we, uh, we've gone quite far now from domination. Um, I, um, I, I wondered a little bit, so, so um, I want to go back to where we started, like this domination thing um, and how women dominate. Um, I think it's a very, a very um, subtle, subtle way of dominating, mm -hmm. like um, topping from the bottom, is it called? Like um, they don't do it uh, loud by arguing and stuff like that, but in this, 
in this little way, in this, um, oh, yeah, you said you ought to do this and stuff like that. So they're, they're setting small little points. And this is already enough because um, a man's mind is, is working on a certain way. And she knows that, of course, she'll, because she knows um, her man. So there's no need to argue and be loud often. It's just a few things like you said. Oh, mm, I think your hair is getting a little lighter here in the back. So yeah. this is just like a little point. But it's yeah, the, 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 this little small yes. little stick stick this little small little sticks a little bit a little bit a little bit yeah they don't <laughs> cut they, they don't cut your leg or they don't cut your arm but it's little needles little little absolutely but Christian mm -hmm. is it when we get you know I mean you're trained like myself uh, we we are, we are researching about human behavior and human emotions but maybe it, it sounds a little bit tough but I, I think it is like it is. Uh, when you when your self-esteem is not really balanced yeah when you know john harrison i'm okay you're okay when this is out of balance you always try to put the other person down down so you look better so if you're not you're in a good condition and you're in a relationship or in a business it's the same stuff anyway but i see it in a relationship too it's the same stuff in the draw okay if you're here what do you do you don't get up here you try to put the other person down and this is this little this little sticks. This is this domination. Bring the other person down. So that, that he or she is it's both ways. Okay. Now we're talking about female domination, but it's the other way too. I see the other way too. But on the female. So she's here, he's here. She she's not getting up here. No chance for any reason. Maybe she doesn't want or there's no capability. So he brings the guy down with this little stick. Ding, 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 ding. That's that's the domination. Bring another person down. That you are in a better light. That's what I see very, very often. Very, very often. Very, very and this happens very often, very unconscious. And yeah, I think this is one of the one of the bad things that in a in a good relationship, this can happen that that one is here maybe energy like and the other one is here. So for me, a good relationship is not to dominate uh, the other guy until I feel um, better again. It is like yeah. helping each other out like understanding and then using my energy to lift my partner up again absolutely so, bring the other one up a little bit higher then you go up and a little higher and you get up and then you're both growing 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 that's and this is not not a, a domination topic this is an understanding topic and supporting topic of and course this it is. Is, um, i see this only in in few relationships working Absolutely, absolutely. I see. I see this very often that girls want to bring the, the guy down when he's very successful. Some so, some girls love it. I said, okay, I, I'm proud of him, or I can enjoy the side effects. You know, the money's coming in, and I can go shopping on a vacation. Uh, but when when a guy is when a guy is not only materially sec, uh, successful, uh, so meaning this charisma is growing and more people are coming to the shining light, then these ladies get jealous. And then they, they, they try to bring the energy down. They bring, they, 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 yeah, that's what they do. And dominating and bring the energy. This little stick, ding, 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 ding. Uh, bringing the energy down. So there is no, how to say? Yeah, there is no threat from, 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 from another female. So they bring him down. Yeah, that's what, that's what I, I very often experience. Uh, in my in my personal life, if, if someone's an eye, as, when I watch it, I, I see that's that, that's one point. Uh, but I also believe that women. I don't. I want. I, I don't. I will. I won't use the word dominate. Uh, do, domesticate. You know, a wild man domesticate like you. You domesticate a wild animal to become a a, a wolf to become a dog. You know, sometimes you know when you're, when you're a wild guy that try to domesticate it. So, uh, of course, you can go out. You, of course, you you you're the tough guy. Of course, you're the warrior. Yes, but they try to domesticate a little bit. Okay, settle down a little bit. Taking care a little bit of this, little bit of that, but that's okay. But that's okay. I guess that's that's a good one uh, when you have a very tough male energy. You know, this warrior, this uh, this lonely wolf, and then you meet a you meet a girl, and she's in a good shape too, and said, okay, she dump, she tries to domesticate you a little bit. She 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 leaves you. Uh, uh, she doesn't touch your wildness. 
but you also bring some softness into your life. That, 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 this is pretty cool. This is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the, maybe one of the recipes for a good relationship is like um, never establish the thought that I can or you can uh, allow something to the other person because there is no, there is no, responsibility or something so so he can do whatever he wants it's his free choice to return back um, every day it's his free choice or her free choice to to love the other person i, I think this in in interviews when i hear so yes my man uh, he's allowed to go with his boys i, I go like what of course he is it's his life <laughs> it's, it doesn't need any permission <laughs> yeah. Exactly, and this is this is so so common that 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 people talk like that, and I go like, man, you guys may overthink your relationship uh, patterns. Yeah, uh, you this is really funny about me. You know, uh, you know that I'm a very self determined person, very <laughs> independent. And I always went my way. I mean, you know, when I'm in a relationship, I'm very caring. I'm, I'm caring about the family. I'm caring about my girl. I, I do all the best, but. Uh, what, what, what really makes me smile is uh, when, when I meet a guy and we, we plan this or want to do that, I said, I have to ask my wife. I thought, what the fuck? Sorry. What? Why? You, 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 we meet for a beer or we, we go for whatever. You have to ask her? What? <laughs> I, did not, I, not, I never asked. I never asked. I mean, of course, I, I, I never ask. I, mean, I, I say, okay, when I stay overnight with a friend for a weekend or go, of course, I tell her I will do so. Yeah, of course. And I, I, I check up if, if there are other plans already done that we both said, yes, we go on a party. Of course, I check this out. But I, I don't ask for permission. I communicate it, of course, but it's differently. I communicate it. But I, I'm not asking, mommy, I'm allowed to see my friends? No, never, ever. Never, never, ever. And also the girlfriend never has to ask me. Of course, I love the communication so I know what's going on. But Never, uh, uh, never a girl had, or a woman or a wife ever had to ask me about a permission. I said, no, thanks for informing you. I wish you all the best, fun. Yeah, of course. But but it's both ways. It's both ways. Oh, I lost my throat. It's both ways. <laughs> I, I absolutely agree with that. It's, we are, uh, people are, are grown-ups. They, they come, uh, they start a, a relationship on free will. So I don't know there. Why should I ask my partner? Yeah, that's what I said in the beginning, Christian. The substitute, the substitute, they should have her mom through 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 a wife. And I, of course, when I was six, seven years old, I said, "Mommy, can I go out with my friends and stay long?" Of course, I asked my mom. But I, I, but I, I got rid of this pattern when I became fourteen. And some yeah. guys are in the 40s and still not get rid of the spirit. And they're asking their mommy. Or, and it's a funny way, by the way, I for our Americans audience, uh, I, you know, I was I was working on many many years on a trade fair and I was selling a, a, a consumer product to, to to families, cooking machine, and and when I when I observed the communication, you know, a couple, a married couple. He said mommy to her and she said daddy to him. I said, what the fuck? You love us. He's not, you're not mom and dad. You're mom and dad of your kids. But why are you communicating in between? You said, uh, Mutti, Mutti, you know, the German Mutti, the mommy. What's going on here? Yeah, this is so common. This is so common. Yeah. I think most of the people, they don't, they don't even recognize this. But you as an as a, uh, NLP trainer... So, of course, you have a, a special eye for, for this kind of communication. And this really tells something, how, how the, the, the relationship between two people is working if they call the other guy mommy or daddy. So there, yeah. there are a lot of, um, uh, I don't know how you call it in, in English, Glaubenssätze, um, a lot of... Beliefs, a belief system. Yeah, belief, belief, belief system. They, they, they come with these words. And uh, they're connected to these words. So, well, a lot of women, they, they really, um, they react a little upset when I call them by their real name, like not Schatz or Darling or Honey, but I don't know, Lisa, something, I don't know, you know, yeah. if you call her by her name, this is, this is uncommon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but you know what? Why? Because you know the, the name is something very important to a person. And mostly we relate when somebody calls us by a name in a negative sense. A teacher calling Christian, father calls you Christian, in the military, Christian. So it's something I, I did a lot of research on that on names. Why this is why people don't want to call, especially women, as you mentioned, they don't want it to call by name because it was their dad or the mom said Ag Agnes, Susie, Jacqueline. Yeah, it's something they say, oh, did it something wrong? So they have this, you know, this darling, honey, Schatzi in the German or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because it's 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 uh combined or it's related to something negative when they, when when they call it by name. Absolutely. Yes. I experienced it many, many times. Many, many yeah. times. But yeah, if many, you many time. in my experience, if um if I if I'm able to to connect this name to my energy. To a, to a loving and an honoring energy, then it changes, and then she she is um, able to to like like or even love her own name. So it's it's um, yeah, but but some so, so, some also say you know, especially when you when you when you change your partner very often, and then sometimes you get really confused with the name. So instead of using the wrong name, you say just darling or honey because nothing is wrong with that. You know that's happened very often. Well, actually, I have been triggered by that and my girlfriend was because my first wife uh, was Astrid. My second wife was Astrid. Both 15 years married, so 30 years Astrid. And then my girlfriend was Agnes. So it happened many times that I said Astrid to her because AA, yeah, of course, man, 30 years is a long time, ladies and gentlemen. It's a long time. It's a long time for, for yeah, really to, for some patterns. And it was difficult for me. So I, I always try to avoid to say Agnes. Because it happened at this not an H E, it's an E S. So I said, honey or darling. Yeah. It's it's just self-protection, to be honest, because it happened, it really happened sometime and she was really, really pissed off. But so, you I know, understand. Understand. yeah. Okay, so but it's really hard to story. change uh, it's really hard to change a, a, a pattern that has worked for 30 years. I can tell <laughs> this is not easy, so um, I can understand that maybe sometimes another name switches out. If you used it for 30 years, but absolutely not good, of course. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, well, but this domination thing is um, even working sometimes on a good on a good side as well. So I think if uh, if a man is doing some really dumb things or making dumb dumb decisions and stuff like that, so sometimes it's um, really good because. And this is one thing I experience quite um, quite often, that women have a, a far deeper and um, far more intelligent, I say, I say um, intuition about things that are good for someone and things that are not good for, for a man. Because men sometimes they are not, um, not sensitive enough for, for their own, um, well, what is good for them. And then sometimes it can be good if there's a strong woman and she knows a, 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 a loving way of dominating. Well, this is a kind of hard word, but showing the man a better way of making decisions. This can be very helpful. Yeah, yeah. But actually, you know, this is a very often discussion in between my girlfriend and myself. She, she, of course, she tries to teach me something with, with the value of myself. As you said, expression, emotion, talk about your inner world, yes. But if you, but when you push somebody, then it's dominating. When you offer somebody to open up and when you offer a, a, a open, lovely space that somebody can offer, that's an offering. But when you push somebody, then you try to dominate it. Yes, yes, I, I absolutely agree with that. Domination. I had a, I had a very dominating grandmother. She was um, she was really strong. She she moved all around the the whole family, like my mom, her two brothers, her her husband um, was really amazing. And she did this in in like a like a like a drill sergeant style. Yeah, so yeah. I, I remember her standing in the kitchen. No, she was sitting, right? She was sitting and she was like, 
you go there, you do this, you do this, and the eating will be here, or the, 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 the menu will be here at 12 o'clock. And everybody was doing what she was saying, like it was crazy. She was really, she was really tough, yes. But she was a very hard woman as well. I, I never, I cannot remember my grandma hugging me. I just can't remember. Well, I mean, from my father's side, also not because my grandfather, or from my father's side, he didn't come back from the war, you know, second World War II from Russia. So my grandma, in a very young age with two small kids, have been by herself fighting really to survive with the small farm. Of course, it made her harder. And my grandma from my mom's side, yeah, my my grand my, my grandfather passed away four years before before I came to Earth, yeah. And of course, it makes him harder because it was a different age, you know, especially as a as a single single mom, not divorced, but your husband passed away in, in the war. Of course, it made them harder because it's it was all about surviving, surviving in the family. It makes you harder, absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, okay, nobody nobody um, made the decision to go to war uh, on on free will. This is an, an extreme situation, and it um, really changes people, and it changes women and men, of course. Um, but on the other side, it um, it made my picture of women like it. it um, it's how I see women, or well, how I saw women. Like 15 years ago, I thought all the women are more or less like my my mom and my um, my grandma, not on a conscious level, but of course on an unconscious level, and that was the way my my relations were going, because I didn't even know that I had those patterns inside here. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And my dear I friend, Christian. My dear friend, we came into close to an end for us and faster. We had a lot of analytics from different points of view. Maybe we should give our male audience some advice how to handle when you, when your girl tries to dominate you, what they can do. And maybe we can do some advice for the girls too. What about that in the last five minutes? What, 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 is, what is your advice? What is your tip to to, to, to young men who... who but and then, I mean, for the guys, you are married 30 years. Sorry, guys, it's done. Forget it. But for, for the young ones, you know, starting, an, starting a relationship, okay? What, what advice do you have? I can, I can only say because I'm just, I'm just loving NLP. So go, guys, do an NLP practitioner, do a master, and see what your patterns are. See what is inside here. Look at your unconscious and then see what your patterns are, how you start your relationships, and then analyze it and then make better decisions for yourself. And you're going to be happy the rest of your life. That's it. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Yeah, it would be my advice too, guys. So look for somebody, look for a male role model. And I always say to my guys, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a garden and a warrior in the war. So become a warrior in your relationship. Hopefully you don't need the tools and the weapons. Yeah, but uh, be prepared. Okay. Become a warrior in the garden instead of a gardener in the war. Because sometimes a relationship can be a war and to avoid this, be prepared. And yeah, if you need some coaching, please contact Christian or myself or whatever, we can, we can help you. Uh, thanks for listening. We're coming closely to an end. Uh, before we do this, uh, I really highly recommend go on our website, bonfiredogs.com. You will see all the recording of the previous shows we've done. You also will see the announcement of the next shows and you can also of course see our contact details from each of the panelists of your choice Christian, you, you have an uh, um, actually three minutes uh, left any advice for the girls who for the girls oh well be patient with those boys this is the one thing i can say and um as it's only us two right now i would love as we are on on episode i don't know 25 or something uh I would love to say thank you, Dr. Jacqueline, for for your power and opening up us, opening up this this opportunity for us to speak out to other men. Um, I think this is a great show. You're doing a really, really great work, and um, I'm proud and thankful that I'm allowed to be here. Thanks. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, I can I can admit. Absolutely. It's, an, it's really an amazing opportunity for us to have a, an own show on USA Global TV and Radio and, and talk to 
a broader audience and and share this and sh and share this message. Absolutely. Yeah, my advice to the girls is a hey, before you make your final choice, really look if this is a real man. If he knows how to behave, maybe you first have a look how he's talking to his mommy or his mom is talking to him that you know exactly what you get. So if you want a real man, find a man who is respecting his mom, okay, but is not but is not holding your hand the whole fucking day. So look for a real man and become a real soft woman. And then there's a good, good chance that you have a happy life together. Let him in his male energy, enjoy his male energy, feel safe and protected in his male energy and stay in your female one. And then it will be, you will have a nice future. Thanks a lot for listening. I'll see you next Wednesday, same time, same procedure with a new topic with more panelists. Christian, Thank you so much. I highly appreciate that you took your time. I know that you're on vacation on this beautiful uh, place. So thanks a lot. Enjoy your vacation. And yeah, let's go back to the studio. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Roland. Bye-bye.